Hello and welcome to Central Europe Online. I'm Tara Sunderland and here are some of the stories that we're following for Thursday, August 20th. The Czech Social Democrats win a parliamentary vote of confidence. A European Union official warns of a humanitarian disaster in Kosovo. And Poland confirms plans to privatize key state-owned businesses. The Czech Republic's new Social Democratic government won a parliamentary vote of confidence Wednesday, the first approval of a left-wing government in the country since the fall of communism. Prime Minister Milos Zeman said that his Social Democrats won a simple majority of 79 to 39 in the constitutionally required vote. Their approval was made possible due to an earlier agreement with the opposition Civic Democratic Party to tolerate the left-wing cabinet in return for key posts in parliament. Without the agreement, the government would not have been able to win enough votes in the lower house where opposition parties control 102 out of 200 seats. European Union Humanitarian Affairs Commissioner Emma Benino visited ethnic Albanian refugees on Wednesday and warned of an upcoming humanitarian catastrophe. Benino said contributions of humanitarian aid alone would not be sufficient to help the refugees through the winter. She said a political settlement ending hostilities would be the only solution to the fending off potential catastrophe. An estimated 200,000 Kosovars have been displaced over the last six months of fighting between rebel separatists and Yugoslav troops. Poland's Treasury Minister Emil Vasac on Wednesday confirmed earlier plans to sell off 70 large companies in 1999. The companies will be sold to strategic investors in an effort to privatize the economy and prepare for European Union membership. Vasaj said the government expects to earn approximately 15 billion zloty through the sell-offs and flotations. The privatizations will begin with power-generating firms, distilleries, mines and the country's national airline lot. The minister said that privatization of larger power plants and electricity distribution companies like National Power Grid would take place later on. This week marks the 30th anniversary of the Soviet-led invasion of the former Czechoslovakia in 1968 when Warsaw Pact troops crushed the era of liberal reforms known as the Prague Spring. Don't miss Central Europe Online's special report on the invasion. The report includes testimony from people who introduced reforms which gave birth to the Prague Spring and helped lead the country's non-violent resistance to the occupation. And that's some of what we're following here at Central Europe Online. For the European Internet Network, I'm Tara Sunderland.